their fears would eventually turn into reality on February 6, 2023, nearly seven months after her disappearance, when the body of Susana Morales was discovered in a wooded area between Drowning Creek and Barrow County. Medical examinations would confirm that she died between 10 p.m. on July 26, the day she disappeared, and 2 a.m. on July 27. Upon further investigations of the scene, only a few feet from her body, officers discovered a handgun. Although it was clear that Susanna wasn't shot, police were certain that the handgun had something to do with the case, so they collected it as evidence and traced the serial number of the gun, and what they would eventually discover would shock the community of Norcross to its core. The gun was traced back to 22-year-old Dorville police officer, Miles Bryant. This was a shock to the police officers who realized that they needed to investigate one of their own. When they took a closer look at Bryant, they discovered that he had reported his gun stolen just two hours after the Morales family had reported Susanna missing. In this report, he said that he accidentally left his truck door unlocked, and that's how someone was able to get inside his truck and steal his weapon, his military ID, and his wallet. Police also noticed that Miles lived in the same apartment complex where Susanna's friend was staying and where she was last seen the previous evening. The evidence was starting to mount up, so on February 13th, one week after Susanna's body was discovered, police arrested Miles Bryant. He was charged with concealing the death of Susanna Morales, as well as for the false reporting of a crime. The warrant alleged that Bryant dumped Morales's naked body in the woods between Drowning Creek and Barrow County and that he had previously given a false report that his personal car had been broken into and a gun taken from inside the vehicle. Police also stated that they didn't believe that Susanna Morales knew Miles Bryant. After his arrest, it would also emerge that Miles Bryant had a history of stalking and harassing behavior, and that he had previous maladministration charges against him. Despite the police previously being made aware of these allegations, minimal action was taken against Bryant. In 2022, Around the same time as when Susanna went missing, a woman approached the Dorville police station complaining that she was being stalked by Bryant and that he had tried to break into her home. She said that she had known Bryant since the fifth grade, but their paths separated when they got older. Bryant tried to reconnect with her, and after chatting for a while, the lady decided that they didn't have much in common and distanced herself from him. After this, Bryant became aggressive and started to stalk and harass her. She felt that she was being watched and someone even tried to break into her house, breaking the panel on her door. She also approached a neighbor who had a security camera, and after reviewing the footage, she saw a person who she believed to be Bryant trying to break into her home. Although he was trying to hide his identity, one frame caught him looking directly at the camera. Bryant's behavior was so aggressive and so intimidating that the lady actually feared for her life and she ended up getting a firearm to protect herself. She reported his behavior to the Dorville Police Department, but nothing was really done about it, and the department only gave him a stern talking to. Bryant was also accused in 2018 of trying to break into a neighbor's house by entering through a window. The neighbor actually called the police, but when they arrived, Bryant denied that he ever tried to break in. After a bit of back and forth, the neighbor decided not to press charges, and no further action was taken. In October 2022, there was another allegation against Bryant, and he was actually charged departmentally for his actions, this time for maladministration. A family had reported their child missing, and Bryant was responsible for drawing up the report. He took three days before finishing the report, while federal law requires it to be done within two hours. For those three days, there was no record of that child being reported missing, and Bryant was eventually written up. It's unclear if the missing child was ever found. On February 23, 2023, Miles Bryant appeared in court and was informed that his charges had been upgraded. He was now also charged with the murder and kidnapping of Susana Morales. His lawyers indicated that they'll be applying for him to be released on bond. The motion for the bond hearing is scheduled for May 1, 2023. The Dorville Police Department has also recently announced that Miles Bryant has been fired from the force. <laughs>